Howdy cowdies, weekly walkabout time at the collector, hope you're good, I don't really care. We've been so frigging busy, it's nuts. We've got a bloody good auction this week, this is all Eastern Silver. Little chair's really cute, little souvenir from St Kilda, about 1880 or something, little photographs in it. Lovely pair of Japanese Jinbari enameled vases over the back. Little George Jensen tea caddy spoon, nine carat gold. South Melbourne Footy Club Life Member Medallion. Sterling Silver Little Forks. There's Silver Spoons and other stuff in that lot. Little Silver Coronation Coach. More enameled silver. Some nice footy cigarette cards. Silver Spoons, Silver Spoons, Silver Forks. More silver at the top. Little Jug, Salt and Peppers. There's some nice stuff in the jewellery cabinet. Really like that pair of vases. All right, Cabin of Monte, couple of 1980s display cabinets. I've got all the glass shelves and stuff leaning up down the side. It's a nice big watercolour. Just forgotten who painted it. It's pretty cool. Italian little ceramic sort of hall table or pedestal. Ali Barber or somebody. It's pretty cool again. The Italian Majolica sort of classical dolphin pedestal. Lovely Victorian cedar console table over the back. All the sort of... Metal, gilt metal sort of tables. Nice big exhibition poster for the legendary Lindsay's. It's a lovely Australian cedar sideboard or chiffonier. Really nice. Good quality pair of heavy speakers. It's a great little AWA stereo system. Little record player there. Speakers, it's got a remote control with it. Uh, box of records. Big lot of books. Three boxes of mixed sort of household gear, EP and S and other stuff. There you go, seven dwarves. Yeah, and there is seven of them. Big lot of records. Metal sort of adjustable shelving racks. Big lot of audio gear. Some nice crystal chandeliers. A couple of boxes. Reference books, carters and stuff. Bottles of plonk and some cups and bottle openers, tobacco jar. Two boxes of records, golf clubs, EPNS, big lot of Italian ceramics, wigs, some cool lights in here, sort of nice little mid century modern teak little wall sconces. What else have we got? Heaps of stuff. Three boxes of china and sort of all these glass droplets. These are all sort of light parts and pieces. Three boxes of books, heaps of footy stuff, sporting, Australian history. Big lot of CDs and cassettes. A lot of occasional furniture. Nice little sort of display cabinet. A little group lot of shelves. Lovely little marble top washstand and some more sort of gilt metal furniture. This is a ripper, little Hecla sort of bachelor's oven stove thing. A little ripper. Records with stereo gear. Oil lamps, mirrors, pretty cool footy photographs, all out of the Herald, Sun and the Age and stuff. They've all got their ink stamps on the back to tell us who took them and who copyrighted them and all that sort of thing. Cool posters, nice big mahogany chest of drawers, some Victorian style lamps, and a nice heavy Victorian style metal candelabra. This is pretty sweet as well, a big Victorian sort of salon settee, or whatever you want to call it. More lamps, crinoline ladies, pretty cool in there. What else we've got big collection of copper and brassware. Another mixed group lot with a little Spitfire airplane winging in. Stereo gear with records, paintings, some sort of little deco bits of sort of furniture. Got boxes down the back. Tools and sort of heaps of Lego and sort of kids' construction toys, Meccano. More Carter's books, antique reference. These are a nice little lot of mixed books. These are all Folio Society books. Cool old Ericsson phone with a part of a payphone. A little lot of books, sort of kids' stuff. Some nice old A.A. Milne ones. These are Australian ones. Anzac, Streeton, Magic Pudding, which looks to be a first edition. A really nice collection of trays, the big cedar one over the back, little sort of eastern copper one there as well with the lions. 
uh, English and other ceramics mixed lot with the Oz Pottery decanter, little Balik cup and saucer there with the black back mark or back stamp, Oriental ceramics, some 118 cars, nice collection of crystal, big lot of English china, you got Wedgwood, you got Royal Winton, Dalton, all sorts of stuff, little TJ Green Pot. Some crystal sconces, nice collection of crystal with a little boudoir lamp. Some more 118 scales. There are a couple of little rippers, little Lancia and an Audi. And some sports cars. Whew. More furniture. Little nursing chair we've put with the two little balloon backs on the table. A uh, nice pair of stools from the 60s, 70s. This is pretty cool, a big adjustable brass metal plant stand. Yep, we've still got that Lithuanian thing. Nice little arts and crafts bookshelf. Riding slope, some Italian pedestals with their figures to go on top. Some cool retro light shades. There you go, it looks, looks like a sort of traveling salesman sort of box of all Cristolus rapid revitalizing the scalp and beautifying the hair. Shit, that might work on me. <laughs> I really like the little chip carved chair. Really nice arts and crafts table as well. Big Victorian mirror over the back in the white frame. Really nice pair of the lamps. Big sort of photogravure of print. Set of eight balloon back cedar. And the lovely big table as well with the big, nice big legs on it. What else have we got? Little desk is kind of cool. A little sort of rounded corner. Luxo floor lamp. Mirrors and a big frisbee. There you go. Jenny DeMilo, Venus's sister, on a pedestal. Wheelbarrow. A lot of sort of mixed furniture. And a little lot down the side there. Some prints and little wooden step over the back's cute. Uh, what else have we got? Some paintings this week, huh? Let's have a look. We've got a nice Kenny Jack's screen print. Ghost Towns of Australia. Um, Farina in South Australia, Greg Irvine, The Beach House, Wilmot Williams Oil, probably Sydney or somewhere, Carter Green Watercolour, what else have we got? This thing's nice, I like this, there's no bloody signature on it, it's well painted, reminds me a little bit of a John Howley actually, do some digging around on him, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's a shame there's no signature. It's a nice thing. Clock. Bakelite canisters. Retro kitchen gear. Nice little light shades. They've all got their little sort of globe attachments. Carter's miniature books or pocket books. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, the big one is uh, Matai Brothers. Lovely clock. It's my favourite bit of the auction this week. The poster over the back, Expose Yourself to Art. <laughs> I know, I know. The Hunter Twasa prints, they're nice things. A couple of Mercs, lovely little book stand with all the old books in them. A couple of Mustangs, Oz Pottery, nice lot of glass, little beam as a ripper. A couple of big Yank tanks. Doll's a good one. Nice little pair of Victorian sconces there. There you go, the, the 383 Barracuda. And this thing, the Mercury Cougar. Yeah. Yes, we've got a Ford and a Holden together. Blasphemy. This is a good lot. Old footy ephemera. There's a nice little Carlton Footy Club tie pin in there as well. Nice big collection of brass and copper. She's kind of cool. Lamps. Nice pair of tapestries over the back that look to have got a fair bit of age. And that's a lamp. <laughs> oh, these made me laugh, these watercolours. I was trying to figure out the signature the other day. I know it's hard to read, but it looks like it says F-U-C-H-T. And it does. His name's Jan Van Fucked. <laughs> I reckon he spent a fair bit of his life saying, no, 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 it's pronounced Fucked. <laughs> he can paint. These are nice watercolours. And it's nice to be able to look at something and have a smile on your face. A couple of Yank Tanks again. Some Deco Mottle Glass Shades. Dalton Duchess. Collection of mixed cabinet plates. Box straw and wine cooler in the tray over the back. Carnival glass. Racers. 
Johnny Walker with his hat with a nice little cigarette dispenser. Mixed little lot there, Oriental and Belik. Oz Pottery Group. Lovely lot of glass, the little hand painted shades are really nice. This looks to be a bit of Lotes or something along those lines, but some bloody idiots drilled a hole in the bottom. English Trios, more Carnival glass. The El Camino SS. Two more touring car races. The nice old serving dishes. A couple of Ferraris, Bunnikins, Brownie Downing, Poker Work, Porsches, Boxer Die Casts, good little mix lot. You've got Wedgwood, looks like Belik in amongst there as well, and some other stuff. Combi Van, Sowerby French glass, uh, Sowerby English glass. This is nice though, they're sort of all the plates fit on top of the little comport stand. So one of them is a server, and the other ones you eat your cake off or something. They're really nice. More bunnikins and there's some other stuff in there, Peter Rabbit. Two touring cars. This is a lovely bit, ABC of Fairy Tales. Lovely old book that covers loose, as we can see. And lovely plates throughout, real sort of Art, art nouveau -y, arts and crafts, really quite nice. Like this old house sign or something like that. Ask it. You're supposed to say what? Two bits of uranium glass, a couple of cool old convertibles. Oz Pottery, Melrose. Halpern the jar is, two big yank tanks, two more races, uranium glassy pern, Oz pottery, the red glass, Royal Crown Derby, a couple of BMW convertibles, Fenton, I think the blue glass is Fenton, this is a bloody good book, a naturalist in cannibal land, pretty good thing, some Shelby racer, Craig Lowndes Commodore racer, Good collection of set of cigarette cards in there, Australian footballers. Another nice bit of carnival glass. Nice collection of Shelley, Deco, and the rest. There's a little Porsche Spider. I think James Dean crashed in. More carnival glass. More carnival glass. A little miniature drink set's really quite nice. Two more races. Another bit. A couple of nice bits of Vic uh, Victorian ruby glass. Two nice Noritake pots. Lovely drink set over the back, but there is a staple repair I did notice in the jug. And this is really sweet. A little miniature carnival glass punch set. More uranium glass with the salt pot. The card tray. Oil lamp. Candelabras are pretty fancy. Lovely little Victorian riding box. Nice old Philip Boyd Low, I think. Uh, Colour litho over the back there of the girl. Uranium glass. Little Australian... Uh, peach glass, 1930s depression glass with the kangaroo in the middle. Carnival, Guy Boyd. These are good football photos, all signed by the footballers on the back. Another nice, the clock. A couple of great bits. The book on Les Darcy and this card there, Australian lightweight sensation. Oh, I've forgotten. Who is it? Jack Hassan. There you go. Interesting guy. I think you'll find do a bit of digging around on him. It's signed by him. Best wishes. We've got that with the Les Darcy Australian Boxing Book. Uranium glass, carnival glass, trench art ashtray. Peter Brock's racer from the Tiger Tasmanian Rally. Charger, GTHO, Sandman Ute, another GTHO. What else have we got? Big Chinese bowls, lovely over the back. Nice little bit of glass. You got a, another Monaro, another Falcon, another Charger, Monaro, and a Falcon. Lovely little set of scales. More uranium glass. Carnival glass, good luck dish. Another little uranium glass fairy light there. A little frosted glass battery operated lamp is a ripper. Kind of like the vases over the back with the tiger and the lions with the sterling silver collars. Whew. A pair of Victorian ruby lusters, two more bits of uranium, Victorian sort of blushware, it's marked the base, can't remember who made it. Peter Brock's Racing Commodore, sterling silver Ipern, and all hallmarks. It's a bloody good bit of uranium glass, this, with the kangaroo on it again in the middle. Really nice bit. More bits of uranium glass, reckon this little swan probably is. Merrick Boyd, really nice. Cup and saucer, Imari colours, can't remember again who made it. Big Japanese charger, or Chinese. Um, this is a lovely little bit as well, looks to be all hand painted. Continental porcelain, French or something. 
And this book, The Mayor's Fancy Ball. This is a bloody good bit. I'll just take a couple of minutes to show you guys. This is going to be the What's It Worth this week. J.J. Phelps, Esquire, W.P. with luck. The author's compliment, 2nd of August, 1875. All right. And that there is an image of the fancy ball. <coughs> Gleanings from My Scrapbook by John Ray. So published in Sydney, printed by the author in 1874. And it's a uh, sort of like a poem to the first fancy ball in Australia given to the citizens... 21st of August, 1844, poem in four cantos. You got the Royal Victoria Theatre. It's a really good book, this. Really quite interesting thing. Don't think you're going to see too many of them floating around. Anyway, guys, you know me, I could talk shit for another half an hour, but that'll do. Hopefully you saw something you liked. It's going to be a good sale this week. See you guys on Thursday night.